Is Hollister Hills a good park for beginners? Let's find out. Welcome to the Bay Area Dirt Biking Channel. Hello riders, so is Hollister Hills a good park for beginners? If you are a beginner, the best park for you is going to be whichever park is the closest to you, just because it will allow you to maximize the amount of time you spend riding your bike relative to driving from and to the park. Now that we got that out of the way, if we look at the Hollister Hills trails map, most of the trails in the park are for intermediate and advanced riders. But there are a few trails for beginners that will make your ride to the park worthwhile. The first and in my opinion easiest trail for beginner riders is the lower field trail on the east side of the park just after the entrance to the park and to the right of the MX track. The outbound segment is pretty level with good traction for the most part and has gentle turns following the base of a mountain. The return segment which runs parallel to the outbound will feel a bit more challenging due to its more jagged turns and being a bit elevated since it sits on the actual foothill of the mountain. Just watch your speed on the return segment until you get comfortable with the trail. The complete loop is about two and a half miles long and it should take you around eight minutes to complete depending on your speed. The second and in my opinion next easiest trail for a beginner rider would be the Rancho Trail which starts just on the other side of the MX trail. This trail has an initial gradual ascent with some gentle turns and good traction for the first one and a half miles, at which point you can choose to return via wood camp, which runs parallel to Rancho but in the opposite direction. To make this turn, look for the turn off to Talion Trail. Most of this trail is shaded so it will be pleasant to ride even during warm summer days. You can also expand this ride by adding the initial portion of Alt Ranch Road, the entrance to the Ranch Ranch area. The ride to the roundabout is almost like riding on a road, despite its great and few bumps along the way. Just watch and control your speed coming down the hill. Once you're comfortable riding all the trails discussed in this video, challenge yourself by finishing Rancho to where High Trail starts, at which point you can loop back and return via wood camp. The third and last beginner trail is Harmony. In my opinion, this trail will be the most challenging of the three due to its sandy and bumpy terrain. The return portion named North Canyon Return has a more even terrain despite running parallel to Harmony. Like Rancho and Wood Camp, Harmony and North Canyon Return are also shaded trails, so this could be a good reason to consider driving to Hollister during hot summer days when Carnegie or Metcalf might be out of the question. When you combine all these trails together, including riding through the main park road, you will be looking at about 12 miles of scenic and diverse trail riding that will keep you busy for about 45 minutes, at which point you can consider taking a break and doing it all over again. In the rest of this video, I will show you what riding these trails look like. If you like this content, please consider subscribing to the channel and give the video a thumbs up. As always, ride safely and responsibly.